Hi everyone, this is Gail from Pretty Presets, and today I just wanted to do a quick video about using your print templates. So the first thing that you need to have need to do is to have installed them, and I'm going to assume that you've already installed them. We have videos for installing and good directions, so if you need help with that, make sure to check on those. And you can see here I've got these um, Pretty Presets print templates installed right here. And next I'm going to choose a collection that I, of photos that I want. I just choosed, I just choosed, oh my goodness, I chose this collection past month. It's a default quick collection in Lightroom that just puts together all of your photos you've taken in the last month. And I'm going to use some photos from there. Now, I need to choose one of these templates that I want to use. We have a couple of timeline templates and we have this square template. Today I'm just going to use um, this Facebook timeline template. And putting your photos into the print template is pretty much as easy as dragging and dropping. So I'm just going to scroll through, find a few, I'm going to turn on a filter here. I can see fewer photos and I'm just going to click on a photo and drag and then drop it into the cell that I want it to be in. You'll notice when you're hovering over the cell with a photo the outside little border will turn yellow. So let's do one more. I'm going to click on this one and drag it up here and you can see how the border around the outside of the photo turns yellow. You can drop it there. Now if it doesn't drop the right way or if it's not positioned the way that you want it, you can command click and drag on a Mac or control click and drag on a PC. And you see your um, cursor on my, on my Mac, it turns to this little hand and I can now drag my photo where I want it to be. I'm just going to drag a few more photos here. Maybe reposition them a little bit. And we'll scroll through. Sorry, I know that's probably blurry, so don't look at them too quick. Okay, so now I've got four, five photos in here. It's all set up, all done, and I want to save it. Now, in order to save it, I'm going to click this button, print to file. As a default standard, we have the print sharpening turned on. Um, you can turn the print sharpening off if you'd like. It kind of depends on the photos, on um, what looks best. I've exported this one, and I know that it looks better to have the print sharpening off. But know that you can turn that on, or turn that on, or turn it off. Now I'm just going to click on Print to File. And it's going to pull up a box and let me figure out where I want to save it. I'm going to save it as a Facebook timeline cover. And I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. I'm going to click save here. And then I can just it's saving. You can see that up here it's working a little bit. Once I'm done I can just go to my downloads folder and click on it and it will pull up and I can see that it's saved. Now I can just upload it to Facebook and I'm done. So these templates are super nice and super easy to use. I hope you enjoy using them.